I'll tell you what, looking inside this engine bay, it'd be amazing to look inside one of those cylinders while this thing is running. Just think, you wouldn't have to guess about setting up your carburetor. You could set up that mixture just perfectly if you could see that flame in there. It's too bad no one thought of that, hey? I wish I'd thought of that. I could have come up with a few quid. Oh well. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, gentlemen and ladies, Jeepers, it's Green Dot 319. Welcome to the channel. Now, to start off with just a little bit of housekeeping, um, get a good views on these videos, but not enough of you are subscribing. So if you are saving my, you know, just searching for me and things like that each time to find my videos, don't bother with that. Just click on the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. You can just see a little thing which says click me. Click on there and that'll keep you up to date with my channel. That'll tell you when new videos are coming out and things like that. And that'll uh, boost my subscription count as well, which really helps me out. So I'd really appreciate that. If you just take the time to do that today. Now then, the main event, what we're going to look at then today is this little thing here. Yes, the colour tune. Now, as I said, somebody had already thought of what I was thinking of. You can look inside one of your cylinders while the engine's running to see what's going on, okay? Now, sadly, this is not uh, a little microscope or something like that, or a little camera which goes inside the cylinder. It's something much more basic, okay? Many of you will have seen this before as well. This isn't uh, anything new or anything like that, but it's just something pretty cool we're gonna use today. And we're gonna see if, um, not whether we can beat the colour tune, but whether my ear and my tuning um, is backed up by what the colour tune shows or not. I could be completely wrong with the setup for my Jeep, but the colour tune should show whether that's correct or not. So if you are looking at tuning yourself and things like that, we're gonna to see today whether this little device can help sort you and help you get your engine running really nicely. So let's break into it and have a look what we've got then. Ah uh, yes, the Jeep table, the famous Jeep table used for everything, for eating off, for having uh, services off and for sitting French girls on. Perfect. Today it's going to have a colour tune on it. We're going to have a look at that. So what the hell is a colour tune? As you can see, I've got my vintage colour tune. Being a vintage Jeep, we're not going to use a modern one. Modern ones are available, of course, but we've got the uh, old one here and I'll show you just a slight difference with it. But this doesn't appear to have been used, which is great for our purposes. So what is it? Let's open this up. Oh, <laughs> we got some awesome 1980s, 1990s. Uh, oh, hello. It's very windy, very cold today, gents, so uh, and ladies, so just bear with me. What it is, the colour tune is a simple device. It's just what I said earlier. All it is, is a spark plug. But it's a spark plug with, look in the end of it, I think it's got quartz glass around the uh, electrode there. So what you can see is instead of a spark plug being solid around the top with the electrode and the insulator, yeah, there's just a little bit of quartz glass there. So you can see the flash as your uh, mixture ignites inside the cylinder, you can see that flash and you can see that color. And from that color, we can tell quite a lot, okay. So in this kit, all it is, you've got your little uh, color tune spark plug there and that replaces your normal spark plug. You can see you shouldn't need to worry about uh, it projecting further than your normal spark plug and having problems with valve or hitting the uh, piston head or anything like that because uh, you see it doesn't really extend out very far there. So this is the actual meat of it. This is the colour tune. Then they've got a, um, let's have a look. When it goes in the motor, you screw this onto the top of it because if you put your normal uh, plug lead on the top of it there, you won't act, it'll get in the way, you won't be able to see down there. So you put this little extension on there and that allows you to put your plug lead on the top there and then you can see all the way down. So you got that. And then you've got a cleaning thing to clean the uh, quartz glass. The older version here, this ancient version, has a little bit of cleaning solution as well. The modern ones don't have that because obviously there's dangerous goods shipping and things like that. And I imagine this is some horrible, very good concoction for cleaning. Just like everything which was uh, really good at cleaning, um, it's horrible and <laughs> you can't ship it, you can't use it, blah, blah, blah. It's probably carbon tet or something like that, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. And then just to really weird out your wife when she comes in the garage to see you bending over your Jeep or your car and working on it. You've got a little weird periscope here. You can see this is all stuck in here. It hasn't come out before because it's been melted into it. This is a little periscope that you can uh, put over the end here and you can look down inside it so that you're not uh, crouched. If it's in a funny position, you don't have to crouch in weird ways. And also the light as well, just so you can see it, it makes it dark inside so you can see it against a light background. So you've got a little periscope there as well. So that is all inside the color tune. Very straightforward, very simple. But um, let's take this little bad boy home, put him in the Jeep. You need to warm the Jeep up first. So we've warmed it up. That's why we're out and about here in the cold and windy and horrible. Um, warm it up and then take it out and get going with it. So let's go home. Right then, first things first, we're gonna whip off this plug and we're gonna use uh, number one, just because that's the one we usually use for everything for timing. It's also got the longest lead on it. So when we put that long lead on it, 
and we've got a bit of slack to play with there. So let's get him out there. Let's have a look what's going on to start off with, see how my plugs look with the, oh, there you go. It's all gonna be hot, so uh, don't burn yourself. And also, of course, this goes without saying, if you're gonna be running it, we're inside the garage here so that we can see it a little bit better in the dark, you know, the light when we're doing it, but it goes without saying, don't run a Jeep in the garage without your door open or ventilation, otherwise you could have a bad day. Here we go, right, let's have a look at this plug. Oh yeah, that's how my Jeep's running at the moment. I mean, that's nice. There's a sort of brownish tinge to it. It's not too white, it's not too brown. There's no oil sign or real soot or anything like that. It's beautifully clean. I mean, that is nice. Perhaps, perhaps a, maybe a touch leanish looking, but these are projected plugs. These are not the plugs you're supposed to use in the Jeep. I use slightly different ones. These are projected, so they stay a little bit cleaner. So I think that looks beautiful anyway. So that's my tuning there. So I'm quite happy with that. Awesome, right, let's get this color tune in then. Here's that little color tune there. There you can see down the center of him. So let's get him in there. This is 14 mil for the Jeep. Now, why is, um, why is it in metric when the rest of the Jeep's in Imperial then? I don't understand that with spark plugs. But anyway, this is a 14 mil. Now, they're really keen to stress to you that you only put this in finger tight, okay? It's got a big old crush washer on there, but they say finger tight. So let's just do him in. They don't want you talking it down or anything like that. Yeah, it's going in nicely. I don't think this has ever been used. So, right, there's tight. Yeah, it's finger tight there. That's feels solid, feels firm. Great, okay. Now, if we put the uh, cap on, we wouldn't really be able to see anything, especially with the dust boot on it. So what we're gonna do, or should I say the, um, the uh, distributor cap protector there, we're gonna put the extension on so you can actually look down there. So this just screws on here. Do, do, screw, screw, screw. Oop. Okay, and then up the top here, hopefully, should be able to reach. Okay, yeah, it's gonna to be touched on there. I think that's insulated enough. I think that should be all right, but it's well out of the way there, so we've got a good view down here. So let's bring, move the camera around, we can look down at it, we can start it up. And to start off with, we'll just leave it as it is and we'll see what it looks like at idle. Now, this carb here, okay, it's got a, a, um, a bit of a problem. It's not really a problem, but um, it does have a slight hesitation, um, a little weak spot, just to start off with, with the plunger and the element in it. I've just rebuilt it again, and it may just need to settle in a little bit, but it's not great, and we can, um, I can feel it sometimes. But we'll see if we can see it on the colour tune, because when you go hard, push the throttle down hard, it should go rich to start off with, and then it should lean out a little bit. So if it's going a little bit lean as soon as you push it down, we should see it go a little bit lean and then rich. So we'll see if we can see that. It doesn't do it all the time, so perhaps it won't do it now and we won't be able to see it, but it's gonna be interesting to see if we can actually um, do it. Okay, peeps, we're ready to go. So what we're gonna see then, blue is good, Orange is rich, white is lean, okay? So we're looking for blue, we're looking for a Bunsen burner. Remember at school when you used to set fire to things you were supposed to be learning in chemistry, you should see that hot blue color, not a white color, not an orange color, okay? So let's see, let's see if the color tune actually works then. Let's see what my idle setup is like for this, okay? And as I said, when we go to, um, when we give it a, the beans, when we give it a jab, we should see it go orange, so we should see it go rich as the accelerator pump sprays a load of fluid, um, fuel in there and then we should see it go to blue as it leans out and continues with a normal the high speed um, circuit on there so let's just see what we get then let's see if this even works to start off with right the ancient color tune so out of gear you ready oh yeah <laughs> look at that that's awesome Oh yeah, so we've got a load of blue in there. Absolutely beautiful and occasionally just sprinkles of just, you know, just when it's not burning entirely correctly. You can just see a bit of orange in there, but I can see a hell of a lot of blue just ticking away there. Man, that is fantastic. Beautiful. You can, I can see right now. I'll move you in a second, but I can see right into it. It looks awesome. Right, let's um, let's give her a quick waz. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't go. Um, it didn't go red there or orange, did it? It stayed blue the whole time. Let's try that again. So when I do a gentle push, it stays blue, um, and then it goes. Um, 
and it goes blue the whole time so it's a little bit lean on the old acceleration there but if i do it hard it's really spraying fuel in and it goes rich like it should do so there is a bit of a problem with the accelerator pump so already we can see the color tune is telling us what we thought which is fantastic so let's do it hard it should go orange yeah and then let's do it slowly it might stay blue then amazing peeps i'm absolutely amazed at how well that is working when you watch videos online and uh, on youtube of these things you can usually just see a little bluish flame in there or something like that when you actually see it yourself you can see the fuel going in there you can see it all moving you can see the flame going around it's incredible and that color that blue color in there is really really deep and rich i didn't quite ex um, expect it to be like that so i mean <laughs> I'm totally amazed. Get one of these to play with yourself. I was, to start off with, I was like, ah, oh, it's just a, you know, you can set it up and you can tune it without it, which you can do, as you can see, my idle and everything is absolutely fine. And you can see it's behaving how I thought it would as well. It's, the accelerator pump isn't quite right. It is going lean when you, you do a gentle jab. Hard jab, it does go uh, rich because you're really forcing it in there, but the gentle jab's just not quite right. So I can see exactly what it's telling me myself without it, but to look at it is, is something else. Get a hold of one and have a look inside your engine. It is unbelievable. Um, what we're going to do now then is we're going to play with it. Now, I know we set it all up. We're now going to move away from the settings on the uh, carburetor. We're going to go rich and lean at idle and we're going to see the color change there, okay? Um, so I'll memorize where the position of my... Um, uh, my um, fuel mixture, my idle mixture screw is so I can put it back there when we're done. But we'll have a look now and we'll see how it changes, all right? So let's get to it. Okay, we're back at normal idle then. So let's go rich to start off with and let's see what happens with the color change. This will help us with our tuning then. So if you don't know where you're going with tuning, let's just play with it then. So let's look at rich. Okay, so let's go out. Quarter. Oh, you can see it's already starting to go a little bit. Look at that. That's half a turn and it's quite orange and the engine's lumbering a little bit. So this is when I was listening myself, if I was tuning it, I could tell that already, right? Let's go properly, Rich. Yeah, it doesn't like that. You can really see it's really orange now. So you can hear all this yourself without it, but it is useful. Look at it, very orange, very different. And let's get it back. There you go, speeding up now, going more blue. And then I think that's about to where we were there. Awesome. So that's really useful then. So if you don't know where you are when you're tuning it, you can see that you can find it quite easily using the color tune. But of course you can hear it as well. You can, you can feel what the engine's doing. I can feel it laboring and what have you. So let's go lean now. Let's go, it should go white rather than bunts and blue, okay? Starting to labor a little bit. All right, so the spark's disappearing quite a lot now. Look, very intermittent. Still blue, but very small. Yeah, white and intermittent. Yeah, I can see the whiteness, but the engine's running really intermittently. Awesome. Hey, that's great. Now, here's something interesting I just heard going back over that audio when I was filming so you guys could see down inside the color tune. Can you just hear, just as we lean it out here, I can hear knocking. That is the first time I've ever heard knocking on a Jeep as we lean it out there. So you can always, you know, you can see and hear when you're tuning a vehicle, what it's telling you. And I've never heard knocking, you know, it's called pinking or knocking. Obviously it doesn't sound like pinking in a Jeep. It sounds like a, you know, knock, 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 let me in. So let's have a quick listen. Let's, uh, you can hear as I lean it out. Yeah, incredible. So, you know, now we know that's what knocking in a Jeep sounds like. I've never heard that before. So that is really awesome. So overall, what do we think about the color tune? Well, I mean, <laughs> the thing's amazing. I get one just because it's a cool parlor trick. You know, even if you don't need it for um, tuning, you know, if you're experienced, you don't need it for tuning. It's great fun just to have a look in there as well and to give yourself peace of mind about your tuning as well. Amazing to see that much better than I thought. You know, at the start, I joked we don't have a little camera to look inside it before I knew how the thing would behave. But actually, Actually, it is like having a little camera in there. You can see the fuel going in and out. You can see the burning and you can see exactly what's going on inside your cylinder. No guesswork whatsoever. So, 
you know, incredible. And if you're just starting out tuning then and you don't know what you're lis listening for properly and you really want to reassure yourself that you're doing the right thing there, you can see it exactly um, what you need to see on that colour tune. Go through this video again, compare the colours there and you can see what's going on in your engine, how healthy it is. I am totally amazed. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Um, I'll put a link down in my uh, description below there so you can buy one if you want to as well. Um, like I said, I found this one on eBay for 20 quid or something like that, an old one. But yeah, awesome. Like and subscribe to that. Um, like I said, some of you aren't subscribing, you know, <laughs> have a think about it. But yeah, like and subscribe, join me on Patreon. And next time, guys, we've got more interesting stuff to go through. So enjoy. Cheers.